Hey YouTube, this is my part two video for programming your uh, Kessels and your Apex. The previous video was pretty in depth in how to set up um, a profile um, for intensity and color. This one's going to go through all of my personal settings. I'm not an expert with Apex at all, but I feel like I have at least the lighting part down. So I wanted to share the profile that I use for my two Kessel A360s. If you'll look at the left screen, um, these are all the nuts and bolts for setting up your profile. And it's kind of confusing when you first get your Apex and you have to figure out where to put all this stuff in. But we're going to go through it all today in detail. To start, there are three main categories. You have one profile for your light intensity, so how dim or how bright the light is. You have one profile for the color, how blue or, or how white it is. And you have your outlet programming, so these control what your lights are going to do at different times throughout the day. So let's get started. Once you log into your Apex Fusion, if you're at your dashboard, you should have these two outlets available. It's important though that you have the um, dimming module for your Apex. Um, this is the part where the Kessel plugs into so you can control it. If you have the Apex Lite or the Apex Junior, you're going to need the separate module, but I do believe the Apex Full has that built in. So let's start by going to Profiles up here. It looks like a little folder icon. And you may or may not have these profiles available. If you already have stuff programmed in, then just choose some blank ones. Here we have our first profile. It's the Sunrise Profile. You can name it whatever you want, but I would recommend if you're just starting out, keep the name simple and duplicate mine because it'll be easier to follow along. You're going to select Ramp for the type. This is going to, going to allow us these three categories for programming. First, you're going to put in your ramp time. And here I have 45 minutes. And what ramp time means is that it's going to take 45 minutes for this profile to start at 15% and go to 70% we're programming the intensity which is the brightness so it's going to start off dim and after 45 minutes it's going to be 70 percent once you're done with that you're going to update the apex it's going to send the configuration and you're done with your first profile Now let's go to our midday profile. Again, you're going to set it to ramp. Ramp time, I have 30 minutes. Now for the start intensity, you want to make sure it matches your previous profile's ending intensity. This is going to make sure that there's a smooth transition for your lighting. If you were to start this off at, say, 90, and you were watching this profile, you would see your lights get brighter uh, immediately and it would look kind of odd. So you want to keep it as smooth as possible. So put in 30 for ramp, 70 for the start, and 90 for the end. And send that to your apex. Now let's program our sunset profile. Ramp time, I have this set for 120 minutes, so two hours. So this is going to be a real nice, smooth, and relaxing transition to where my lights go from 90% brightness to 20% brightness.
again, send that to your apex. The last profile we have is the moonlighting. We have a 30 minute ramp to where it starts is 20. Remember to start your intensity from where the previous profile ended and it's going to end at 14. The 14 is very important because this is the magic number for Kessels. It's the minimum intensity needed for the Kessels to be on. So if I were to set this end intensity at 13, the Kessel would be completely off. So it has to be 14 or higher for the Kessels to remain on. I have no idea why that is. I, I think they just need a minimum amount of power, um, and I'm not sure why they couldn't do it differently. I have no idea. <laughs> so once that's all dialed in, send that to Apex. Now we need to program our color profiles. Again, we're going to have four. You can name these whatever you want, but I like to keep them the same as my intensity profiles, so it's just really easy to coordinate them. So our first one is our sunrise. A ramp profile again. Ramp time is 45 minutes. We're going to start at 35% intensity and end at 15 50% intensity. Now, the intensity for the color profiles is different than the intensity for the um, light intensity profiles, excuse me, even though they're named the same thing. So this is, uh, I think, the most confusing part. What this means is this is going to be the color blend of your Kessels. So a 0% intensity is completely blue. 100% intensity is completely white. So if you have a 50% intensity, this is going to mean that your Kessels are going to be half blue, half white. I have mine starting at 35% for my sunrise. So this is mostly blue and it's going to end with a mix of blue and white. And it's going to take 45 minutes for that transition to take. You'll send that to your apex. Now for the day, it's going to be a 10 minute ramp from where it starts off 50-50 blue and white light and it's going to end at 75%, so it's going to end mostly white, but with a little blue. And I really like these um, color mixes I have set, so I encourage you to try them out. And of course, you can always play around with it to, um, to make yourself happy. So it'll take a little trial and error to find whatever your preference is. And also, you might have particular corals that need um, different color and intensity. So that would be good to research, and you could program um, those factors to make sure, sure that your corals are happy. So once your midday profile for color is all set, we'll send that over. Now we'll go to our evening. And I have this set for two hours. It's going to start off at 75% and it's going to end at 20. So we're going to um, ramp down that bright white color back down to the blue for the evening. And we'll send that to Apex. And last, we have our moon profile. It's going to take an hour. 
for the castles to go from blue with a little white to completely blue. And this, unlike the intensity profile, again, this goes all the way down to zero. So this is completely blue and 100 would be completely white. Um, and one last thing, like we did with the light intensity, you want to make sure that your start and end intensities match with uh, a prior profile. So if we look here for the sunrise, I ended at 50. I'm going to start my midday at 50. My midday ends at 75 my sunset starts at 75 and so on and again this is to ensure a smooth transition from color because we already have a smooth transition for light intensity so we don't want our kessels to all of a sudden jump from blue to white that would look pretty odd now we're almost done we just need to quickly program our outlets So you can go back to your dashboard and you can click on the gear icons or you can click on your outputs and find it here. Um, just really easy to click the gears. So let's go into the light spectrum. That's my top one here. Now this you want to pick an advanced control type if you don't already have that set. You can name it whatever you want. You can pick whatever icon you want. This is going to control the times for the color profiles that we set up. Do a fallback off, a set off. And now we can program our time. So if you look at mine, My color, um, sunrise, is going to start at 8 and go to 12 p.m. noon. From there, my color day is going to go from 12 to 5. Then my evening is going to go from 5 to 8. And then my moon is going to go from 8 to 10 um, and it needs to be 24 hour time and of course you can play around with this if you want your lights to kick on at 10 in the morning you put 10 if you want them to start earlier you put an earlier time and you can change these ones as well make sure that these um, profiles start right after the previous ones so you want to have that smooth transition for the spectrum we're going to put in the same times that we had in the intensity so everything should match here Um, except your profile names because these are all the different profiles. So a quick recap here, your intensity, you're going to have your intensity profiles that we just created, which were here. Make sure you use the names. I'm not sure if it's case sensitive. I think it might be. So be sure to just type it exactly how you typed it when we created the profiles and then our spectrum these are all the profiles for color and that's that so it sounds complicated um, it really isn't there's just kind of a few different pieces that need to put in place but once you program it the first time you'll be an expert at it. And then one other thing while we're in here, if you have a refugium light, 
This one's really easy. Just make sure you set it. Um, well, I have mine set to turn on right after my moon lights turn off for the night. And then it stays on until 7 in the morning. And this is going to be an advanced control type. Um, has nothing to do with Apex, but I just wanted to complete the whole lighting aspect of this. So I'll make this profile available. Um, I'll put it in the description. So feel free to copy it, play around with it, um, and let me know if you have anything different. Um, I'm really happy with this profile. My fish seem to like it too. So give it a shot and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.